Today I've decided to test some of the parts in this PC and uh, first of all we have this RAM stick which works and this hard drive that works 20 gigabyte max store from 2000 and a 256 megabyte stick from a, well no brand but it is a PC133 this Kingston stick doesn't seem to be working and uh, this ATI video card seems to be artifacting in Windows on the old installation but it doesn't seem to be artifacting in the BIOS so we will see what we can do about it maybe I can get it working got two, two VGAs which is very nice but as you can see I have no shortage of AGP cards so uh, it's not a requirement I can replace the video card with an MX420 I think that is or a um, an ATI Rage Pro Turbo EGP I also have some around here or here is it um, I also decided on not testing this board for now with all of these bad caps because I'm worried about them exploding and uh, leaking on the motherboard so we're gonna replace them before we test it and uh, that's pretty much it let me switch back to the monitor to the test bench and as you can see we are uh, in the bias gotta do run 800 uh, date is not set doesn't matter id primary slave is our uh, our uh, master not configured that well should have been a primary master uh, but yeah uh, let me go here and let's first boot device hard disk drive 0 I think that's the first hard drive it sees I don't know let's go here hard disk drive 1 and it should be booting into the hard drive let's wait for it to boot ok so it so for one second there it is a max store uh, some name it's doing something Windows XP Professional and, you can, and um, I, w I was expecting something like Windows 98 SE or 2000 but yeah, XP Professional is nice too um, let's see ok now it doesn't seem to be artifacting, that's not a good sign for that other ATI video card, the 7000. And as you can see, it is German Windows, I'm not in Germany, so yeah, that's a bit weird. I think uh, that trip shop gets their stuff from Germany, so that explains it. The hard drive is pretty loud. <laughs> um, new hardware thing just gonna click on a brehan here task manager let's see We've got 60 megabytes so pretty bare bones installation to be using 60 megabytes and I think it's service pack 1 let's go for higher resolution here yeah. Uh, no GPU drivers, obviously. Let's see what Windows this is. Well, what service pack we were. And we've got service pack. Um, Microsoft Windows version 5.1. This is every spec one. Yeah, I think it's, if it was every spec two or three, it would say that. This is probably every spec one. Anyways, um, see if there's anything on here. Outlook Express and send auto start. Lear. Spiller is 
the games. Those media player loud. Stärke. Let's see. Oh, is this? It's Dieter. Everything seems to be in German, that's pretty much it. And the uh, Windows Movie Maker. Mm, no drivers. Could install drivers. This doesn't seem to be a bloated installation. It seems to be pretty fresh. Uh, this doesn't really seem to be anything installed. So I might keep it. I don't even know if it has drivers installed. It probably, probably doesn't. I'm not seeing any via stuff or any ATI. Um, XP tour. Could check the hard drive. But yeah, it's pretty much it. Everything works. Let me see if I can find something interesting. Okay, there's not even uh, pictures or music or anything. But I'm seeing something interesting, as you can see here. Oh, I just increased the brightness accidentally. Um, there is artifacts on that picture. Now this video card works perfectly. It never artifacted before on any fresh installation. So I am thinking maybe it's this install. I don't know. I'm trying to be hopeful. Um, floppy drive, obviously not. You know, I, oh, actually, it has NVIDIA and ATI uh, folders. It seems to be ATI drivers. So maybe the drivers have been installed. But it seems to be a very fresh install. So maybe someone installed drivers and really messed up. Or maybe... I don't know. Nvidia, so maybe it has an Nvidia card before. Programming... Programs. Net meeting, MSN... Com plus applications. What is this? Empty folder. Yeah, Windows NT, Xerox, this is for printers, but nothing is there. Um, no documents. Nothing. Let's... Uh, let me see what else I can do. We got Deutsch, we got English, that's for typing. Um, let's see what the folder date is. But I mean there's no nothing created on here, so I'm thinking... Freitag, that's Friday, 1st of January 1999, it's 7.44. That seems weird. What is the date currently set to? It could be that that's just because Windows... That's just what fresh Windows does to like the default folders. That's the date. Not sure. But it is around the date this PC was made. 99, 2000. Um, I don't know a lot of German. What was? What did I do? And I don't know these these buttons from the top of my head. I don't know these buttons that well. Without okay, there we go. January two thousand, and that's saying January nineteen ninety nine. Mm, yeah. Um, let's look in the f January 
okay, we don't want to know. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's just default Windows. I don't know when, when this was installed because it doesn't have any files on it. It's very weird. It's almost like somebody tried to make a retro PC out of this and just gave up. But we will see if there's anything we can do with it. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Next video I'll come back and we will check the motherboard and everything else. I also have a very interesting motherboard I'm working on to get it to work. This S-Rock P4 combo 775 and 478. Very rare motherboard. Got it for uh, 10 bucks. Found it. Uh, bad caps on the VRM, no post. We'll see if I can get it working. This is the P4C800 Deluxe. I have got it for 40 bucks with a cooler and CPU. Very nice board. A uh, that win fast board M2 NSRI Deluxe. And this MSI MS. 6156 via bunch of video cards uh, my 754 epox ep8 hti pro via k8 t880 and uh, some dvd drives some hard drives yeah main interest is this motherboard and this to get working this one works everything else works and this video card will be nice to get working that's it for this video see you in the next one